You know, the competition was supposed to be over. Busy B rocked the party. Like, like if you listen to the tape, Busy B was already on stage, had already rocked the party completely. People were totally satisfied with him. Once again, MC Busy B will cool D. So then they say, oh, we got one more contestant, you know. You know, we didn't know he was going to get down, you know, so we're going to let him rap. And at that time, me, I'm not paying none of that no mind because I'm not even worrying about nobody trying to snap on me or say something about me. So I'm not even figuring that's going to happen, right? So I go downstairs, I'm partying. Jeez, man, I took some time and rocked the house. You know what I'm saying? Look here. <laughs> now we go to the hotel, cool out. I got the limousine outside, I got girls, I got the champagne. We're going to have some fun and work it out. Two party people in the place to be. My name is MC Kool Mo D from the Treacherous Three. My man LA Sunshine in the place to be. We gonna get a little something straight here in the place to be. How many people think Busy B Starsky rocked the house? I hear that in the place to be. Yeah. He did rock the crowd, but this is a battle. But if y'all notice it or not, you know, I heard a lot of shit, you know, Busy B's popping shit, saying he'll take out any MC and I all that. Let him do it I alone. give it to the man, he know how to rock the crowd, but when it come to having rhyme, no way he can fuck around, and I'm gonna prove that right now. So now I'm putting in your mind that what you just saw wasn't really anything. What to do now? Hold on, busy B. I don't mean to be bold. Put that bar, do the bar bullshit on hold. We're going to get right down to the nitty grit. I'm going to tell you a little something why you ain't shit. There ain't an MC cock that you don't hug. You even bitch your name from the love bug. Can I fight a nigga's name, miss some low-down shit? If you was money, man, you'd be counterfeit. The crowd is like going berserk because they're like, I can't believe he's attacking them like this. And it's by surprise. Nobody knew what was going to happen. So I'm at the lower level. I'm partying. We're down there drinking, you know, and they coming out. Yo, Biz. Yo, Biz. Yo, biz. I'm saying, what happened? Yo, Biz. Yo, D going crazy over you. I said, what? Who? Kumo D disrespecting you, calling you all kind of this, saying this and that. I'm like, yeah. Kumo D just comes out of left field and just demolished him. He shut him down. Kumo D kind of took Busy B apart. And they actually got it on the radio. The mixtape that floated around the world forever. And from that point on, the tape became like a record. Everybody had the tape, and people would run up to me and be like, I heard what you did to Busy B. Because you're faking the funk. Because you're faking the funk. And at the end of this round, you can call me Uncle. Modi Rock shocked the house. Call me Uncle Rock the house. The house is like this, y'all. Now imagine going from from Barbidi, Barbidanga, Dang, Dicky, Dick. This is a, the changing of the guard. Hold on, brother, man. Don't you say nothing. I'm not finished yet. I got to tell you something. Too hot to try. I'm here to rock the spot. I'm going to rock your ass whether you like it or not. The battle between Cool Mo D and Busy B gave birth to the lyrical MC. You're not number one. You're not even the best. And you can't win no real MC.